so hello guys i welcome you to this brand new video in the year 2024 and based on what we have been seeing the mcat pattern over the years this video is specially formulated for you to get used to the new type of puzzles that are being appearing in mcat and, th and these puzzles are actually expected to appear more often in the year 2024 okay so let's get started with this video on the linear sequencing puzzles based on the latest patterns in mcat exam okay so let's get started so the puzzle says seven persons paul queen rex tom unif and wally are sitting in a row facing us rex and sam sit next to each other there must be exactly four persons between queen and wally and Sam sits to the immediate right of Queen. Okay. So whenever these type of puzzles come up, there can be some person who is sitting to the left of someone or maybe to the right of someone. Okay. But whenever the word comes like somebody is sitting to the immediate right or immediate left of someone, that has to be taken care of at the earliest. And that has to be considered at first while preparing your master equation. So this is it like sam sits to the immediate right of queen okay so here sam is sitting the immediate right of queen okay okay next we have rax and sam sit next to each other so we have pointed rax here rax is sitting to ne uh, next of sam then we have some spaces like we have four other guys sitting <coughs> maybe either side of q s and r so we are given that there must be exactly four persons between queen and wally so this is the only combination that fits in like s and r are to the right of q and there must be two other people sitting at their right so that there are four persons exactly between queen and wally so we are all doing this just to prepare the master equation let us see the other scenario. Maybe Wally is sitting to the left of Q. And there must be exactly four person between Queen and Wally. Is it possible? Let us number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. But there are only seven person in the puzzle. So it is not possible. This combination is not possible. So Wally must be sitting to the right of Q. Okay. And this is the only combination possible. Because four person are sitting to the right of Q, <coughs> which is queen. Okay. Now, what to do? We have pointed six person, including Q, S, R, and V. There are two vacant places between R and V. So, there are two possibilities. Maybe somebody is sitting to the right of V because there are total seven people. Until now, we have talked about six places only. So, somebody may be sitting to the right of V. And what is the other option? Somebody might be sitting to the left of Q. So, that gives us a second case. Okay. So, let us just point, it, uh, point them out. <coughs> this is the first case which you are talking about. Like somebody might be sitting to the right of V. And this is the second case. <coughs> like somebody may be sitting to the left of Q. We are not sure which case is true. So, this is the master equation comprising of two cases, case 1 and case 2, okay. I call it as the master equation because then there are several sub questions included within this puzzle which have to be answered and based on which marks will be awarded to you, okay. So, this is the master equation based on the master question, okay. This puzzle will stand to throughout for all the questions which comes under this puzzle just keep that into mind whatever the condition comes after in any of the sub questions has no bearing on this master equation okay the master equation remains unchanged only additional conditions would be fitted in based on the sub questions coming here after okay so let us see the sub questions one by one okay this master equation will be true for all of them so let me just take this master equation with me. Let me just select this. Okay. And let me just take it with me to the first question.
तो हेर इट इज हेर इट इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज इफ पॉल एंड टॉम आर सेपरेटेड एग्जैक्टली बाय टू पर्सन दैर हु सेट टू द इमीजिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ वाली सो वी हैव टू केसेस एंड द क्वेश्चन इज दैट पॉल एंड टॉम विच इज पी एंड टी आर सेपरेटेड एग्जैक्टली बाय टू पर्सन so let us see case by case which case can be possible here like let us see for the second case like if we place p or t here is it possible no because they are separated exactly by two persons okay so the second case is just not possible for this question okay so we have to consider only the first case of the master equation in order to solve this okay so let us see the first part Which is the first case? Like Paul and Tom are separated exactly by two persons. So let us try to place Paul and Tom here. Okay. Let me place maybe either of P or T here. So in that case, P or two T would be placed here. So in that case, we have two places between them, which satisfies the question. Now the question is, who sits to the immediate left of Wally? now irrespective of whether where the p and the t are only one place is vacant to the left of wali and only one place, uh, person is remaining which is you unif so unif is the answer let us move to the next one if queen is not sitting at either extreme of the row then who among the following has as many persons as on his left as on his right okay now it says that queen is not sitting at either extreme of the row while in the first case queen is sitting at the extreme end of the row the first case is not applicable so we have to see only the second case and in that case r is the answer which is racks because three persons are sitting it to the left and three to the right okay let us move to the next part which is if queen sits at one extreme then who is at the other extreme so we have two cases and it says that queen sits at one extreme it means we don't need to consider the case number 2 we will consider only case number 1 so here queen sits at one extreme then who is at the other extreme we cannot say with certainty because we don't have any additional conditions here and we have three places remaining and three persons remaining to be fitted here and we are not sure who will be sitting at the other extreme so we cannot say with certainty that who would be sitting at the other extreme so it cannot be determined because we have insufficient information here we cannot say that paul tom or wally would be sitting at the other extreme it is just not possible to say that with certainty okay so it cannot be determined <coughs> we move to the next question tom sits to the right of queen and paul is separated from tom by exactly three persons then who is to the immediate left of wally like we have here the two cases now it says that tom sits to the right of queen and paul is separated from tom by exactly three persons let us see case by case <coughs> so let us place p here okay in the first case and they are separated by exactly three persons so t would be coming here but it is not possible because it is already occupied by r okay so what can be done now first case is just not possible there is no combination when Uh, tom is sitting to the right of queen and paul is separated from tom by exactly three persons so we have to consider the case number 2 now so let us see the case number 2 so here we try to place t tom maybe here or here okay because tom sits to the right of queen it can come either of the places and then paul is separated from tom by exactly three persons in this case let us take it so the only place which remains is this one which is to the left of v and that is the question that who is sitting to the immediate left of wali so who is sitting to the immediate left, uh, left of wali only unif is remaining so unif is the answer <coughs> next question we have in how many different ways can the seven persons sit in a row so we have two cases from our master equation case number 1 and case number 2 So let us see how can the seven persons sit in a row in case number one. Like at this place, either of P, T, or U can come. Okay. So there are three persons which can come here. 
there are two which can come here and there are there is one which can come here okay so total six cases for case number one six combinations and for case number two similarly three person can come here two can come here and one can come here so six for this so these are two cases like either case number one will hold true or two will hold true so whenever such or thing comes up we have to just add up both the cases so 6 plus 6 becomes 12 so 12 is the answer so as you can see how simple it becomes when you prepare your master equation correctly and apply it to the sub questions this is the type of questions which are appearing now frequently in mcat i i really expect them to appear in the year 2024 later on whenever you give the exams i hope this video is useful to you please do hit the like button and subscribe the channel because more many more videos would be coming up in the near future i hope you like it and in case you want to download its pdf copy for your ready reference the entire video which i um, in case you want to download the entire solution of the question which we have discussed in this video you can find the description link below also do join our whatsapp channel link for which is down there below where you will get all the information and the free test papers okay so i hope you prepare well for your mcat exam and i wish you all the best so that's it bye bye